the Galactic Council Chamber erupted into chaos. Stunned alien representatives shouted in disbelief at the hologram of an enormous human warship. The UNSC Leviathan utterly dwarfed the Council race's mightiest dreadnoughts. For centuries, the Council had restricted the size of its members' vessels, ensuring no single race could dominate the stars. The humans had shattered that fragile balance overnight. Admiral Chris Adams stood before the enraged councillors, his face an impassive mask. The seasoned commander had seen the horrors inflicted on human colonies by the Council's inability to stop pirate raids. Thousands had died. Millions more would perish if nothing changed. The Leviathan was humanity's answer, a fortress among the stars, built in secret to counter the growing pirate threat. Now the Council demanded answers for this supposed violation of their precious treaty. But Admiral Adams would not yield. The Leviathan was Earth's shield against the lawless frontier. Without it, humanity's future hung in the balance. The Admiral steeled himself for the Council's wrath, knowing the fate of billions rested on his shoulders. Admiral Adams stood on the bridge of the Leviathan, his eyes fixed on the viewscreen displaying the Vega system. The once peaceful colony had been ravaged by Zorax's pirate fleet for months, leaving its inhabitants living in constant fear. But today, that would change. Admiral, we're entering the system now, the helmsman reported, detecting multiple pirate vessels in orbit around Vega Prime. Adams nodded, his face a mask of determination. Raise shields and prepare for battle. As the Leviathan approached the pirate fleet, Zorax's ships turned to face them. A barrage of laser fire erupted from their cannons, slamming into the Leviathan's shields, but the human dreadnought's defences held firm, absorbing the attack without even a flicker. Zorax's face appeared on the viewscreen, his reptilian features twisted into a snarl. You dare challenge me, human? My fleet will crush your pitiful ship. Adam smiled coldly. You've terrorized our colonies for the last time, Zorax. Surrender now or face the consequences. The Corgathy warlord laughed. I will never surrender to a weak species like yours. So be it, Adam said. Tactical. Lock onto Zorax's flagship and fire the main cannon. A brilliant beam of energy erupted from the Leviathan's bow, striking Zorax's ship dead center. The pirate vessel exploded in a blinding flash, reduced to nothing more than a cloud of debris. The other pirate ships scattered, trying to flee the Leviathan's wrath. But it was too late. The human dreadnought's point defense lasers cut through them like a hot knife through butter, turning the once fearsome fleet into a field of wreckage. Admiral... We're detecting a single life sign aboard one of the damaged ships, the sensor officer reported. It matches Zorax's bio-signature. Adams nodded. Send in the Marines, I want him alive. Within minutes, the Leviathan's boarding parties had secured the pirate warlord, bringing him before Admiral Adams in chains. News of the Leviathan's victory spread like wildfire throughout the galaxy. Human colonies celebrated in the streets, finally free from the threat of pirate attacks. But in the halls of the Galactic Council, the mood was far more somber. The humans have grown too powerful, one counselor said, his voice trembling with fear. What's to stop them from turning their weapons on us next? We must find a way to control them, another agreed, before it's too late. As Admiral Adams watched the celebrations from the Leviathan's Bridge, he knew that this was only the beginning. The Council would not take humanity's newfound strength lightly, but for now he would savour this victory, knowing that he had kept his promise to protect Earth's colonies from those who would do them harm. The bridge of the Leviathan buzzed with activity as Admiral Adams studied the holographic display of the outer colonies. The Vega system was secure, but there was still work to be done. Suddenly an urgent distress call from the mining colony on Tharsis filled the screen. Admiral, the colony is under attack by an unknown alien force, the communications officer reported, his voice tight with concern. Adams furrowed his brow. Unknown, how is that possible? They call themselves the Vale, sir. According to our records, they've remained hidden from the galactic community for centuries. 
The Admiral clenched his jaw. The outer colonies were vital to humanity's growth, and he would not let them fall to some mysterious alien threat. Set a course for Tharsis, he ordered. We need to get there before it's too late. As the Leviathan dropped out of hyperspace near Tharsis, Adams was greeted by a sight that made his blood run cold. A fleet of sleek black warships surrounded the planet, their hulls shimmering with an eerie, otherworldly energy. Sir, we're being hailed by the Vale Commander, the comms officer said. Adams nodded. Put it on screen. The viewscreen flickered to life, revealing a tall, gaunt figure with glowing eyes. The Vale Commander's voice echoed through the bridge, cold and imperious. Human vessel, you are trespassing in Vale space. Surrender the colony and leave immediately or face the consequences. Adam stood firm, his eyes narrowing. I am Admiral Chris Adams of the UNSC Leviathan. This colony is under our protection. We will not abandon our people. The Vale Commander's eyes flashed with anger. Then you will be destroyed. The alien fleet opened fire, unleashing a barrage of energy beams and missiles. The Leviathan's shields flared as they absorbed the impact, but Adams knew they couldn't hold forever. Return fire, he commanded. Target their weapon systems and engines. The Leviathan's guns roared to life, sending streams of superheated plasma toward the Vale ships. The alien vessels were fast and maneuverable, darting in and out of range as they continued their assault. As the battle raged on, Adams couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The Vale's attack seemed focused on the colony itself rather than the Leviathan. It was as if they were trying to draw the human forces away from something. Admiral, I'm detecting strange energy readings from beneath the colony's surface, the sensor officer reported, her voice filled with confusion. Adams frowned. What kind of energy readings? I'm not sure, sir. It's unlike anything we've seen before. The Admiral's mind raced. The Vale's true objective wasn't the colony. It was something hidden beneath it. Something valuable enough to risk an all-out war with humanity. As the Leviathan continued to carve a path through the Vale fleet, Adams knew they had to act fast. Whatever the aliens were after, he couldn't let them have it. The fate of the outer colonies, and perhaps all of humanity, depended on it. As the dust settled on the mining colony of Tharsis, Admiral Adams met with Dr. Elias Novak, the lead scientist of the facility. Dr. Novak's face was etched with concern as he led the Admiral into his private lab. Admiral, there's something you need to know, Dr. Novak began. The Vale's attack on our colony wasn't random. They were after something specific, an ancient alien artifact known as the Nexus. Adams furrowed his brow. The Nexus, what is it? Dr. Novak brought up a holographic display of a strange glowing object. It's an immensely powerful energy source, buried deep within Tharsis' crust. I've been studying it in secret for years, trying to unlock its mysteries. But if the Vale gets their hands on it... They could gain a significant advantage over the rest of the galaxy, Adams finished, his voice grim. Dr. Novak nodded. Precisely, we can't let that happen. Adams turned to his second in command. Lieutenant, have the Leviathan maintain orbit around Tharsis. I'm taking a team down to secure the Nexus. The Admiral gathered a squad of his best Marines and a handful of scientists, including Dr. Novak. They boarded a dropship and descended into the mines, the weight of their mission heavy on their shoulders. As they navigated the narrow tunnels, the sound of gunfire echoed through the caverns. Vale forces had already infiltrated the mines, determined to claim the Nexus for themselves. Contact front, a Marine shouted as a group of Vale soldiers emerged from a side passage. The humans and Vale clashed in a series of intense firefights, the confined space of the tunnels making for brutal close-quarters combat. Adams led from the front, his rifle barking as he cut down Vale troops with precise shots. They pushed deeper into the mines, the resistance growing fiercer with each step. Finally, they reached the chamber housing the Nexus, a vast cavern filled with an eerie, pulsing light. But they weren't alone. 
The Vale Commander stood before the Nexus, flanked by his elite guards. His eyes glowed with a fierce determination as he turned to face Adams. You're too late, human, he snarled. The Nexus is ours. Adams raised his rifle. Not if I have anything to say about it. The two forces collided in a final, desperate battle. Marines and Veil vale Guards fell on both sides as they fought for control of the ancient artifact. At the center of the chaos, Adams and the Veil vale Commander engaged in a deadly duel, their weapons flashing in the dim light of the cavern. They traded blows, each seeking to gain the upper hand. In the end, it was Adams who emerged victorious, standing over the fallen Veil vale Commander. But as he prepared to finish his foe, the alien spoke. You have no idea what you've stumbled into, human, he rasped, his voice filled with a mixture of anger and fear. The Nexus is more than just an energy source. It's a key to unlocking a power greater than anything your species has ever known. With those final words, the Vale Commander breathed his last, leaving Adams to ponder the implications of his revelation. The Nexus pulsed before him, its secrets tantalizingly close, yet still so far out of reach. As the dropship docked with the Leviathan, Admiral Adams and his team emerged from the airlock, the Nexus secure in a heavily shielded containment unit. Dr. Novak walked alongside the Admiral, his eyes fixated on the artifact. The weight of their discovery hung heavy in the air. But their moment of triumph was short-lived. A delegation from the Galactic Council, led by the imposing figure of Councillor Vortis, awaited them in the hangar bay. Vortis's face was a mask of barely contained anger as he approached Adams. Admiral Adams, Vortis began, his voice dripping with condescension, you have violated the sovereignty of the Galactic Council by engaging in unauthorized military action and seizing an artifact of immense power. You will surrender the Nexus immediately and submit to a full investigation of your activities in the outer colonies. Adam stood his ground, meeting Vortis's gaze with unwavering resolve. With all due respect, Counselor, the Nexus is too dangerous to be entrusted to the Council's care. We have seen firsthand the length that the Vale will go to in order to obtain it. It must remain in human custody for the safety of the galaxy. Vortis's eyes narrowed. You dare defy the Council? We will take the Nexus by force if necessary. The tension in the hangar bay was palpable, as the Council's security forces moved to surround Adams and his team. But the Admiral held up a hand, a small data chip clasped between his fingers. I wouldn't be so hasty, Councillor. I have evidence of corruption within the Council, of collusion between certain members and the Veil. Vale. If this information were to be made public, it would shatter the Council's credibility and throw the galaxy into chaos. Vortis's face paled, his eyes darting to the data chip. You're bluffing. Adams smiled grimly. Am I? Are you willing to take that risk? But before Vortis could respond, alarms blared throughout the ship. The sensor officer's voice crackled over the intercom. Admiral, a massive veil fleet just emerged from hyperspace. They're led by a dreadnought that's even larger than the Leviathan. The view screen flickered to life, revealing the looming form of the Veil Dreadnought, its hull bristling with weapons. A holographic projection of the Veil leader appeared, his glowing eyes fixed on Adams. Human, he hissed, you have something that belongs to us. Surrender the Nexus and dismantle your military or we will destroy you and your pitiful ship. Adams glanced at the Nexus, then back at the Veil leader. He knew that even the Leviathan couldn't stand against the full might of the Veil fleet, but he also knew that he couldn't let the Nexus fall into their hands. He turned to his crew, his face set with grim determination. Evacuate all non-essential personnel. Prepare to overload the reactor core. Dr. Novak's eyes widened. Admiral, that will destroy the Nexus and, and us along with it. Adams nodded. I know, but it's the only way to ensure that the Vale never get their hands on it. We have to protect the galaxy, no matter the cost. As the crew hurried to abandon ship, Adams and a handful of volunteers remained behind. They worked feverishly to set the reactor core to overload, knowing that they had only minutes before the Vale fleet was upon them. 
The Leviathan shuddered as the first volley of enemy fire impacted against its shields. Adams gripped the arms of his command chair, his eyes fixed on the viewscreen as the dreadnought plunged into the heart of the Veil formation. The Leviathan's weapons blazed, cutting through the enemy ships like a hot knife through butter. But for every ship they destroyed, two more seemed to take its place. The dreadnought's shields flared and flickered under the onslaught, alarms blaring as systems began to fail. Adams watched as the reactor core temperature climbed higher and higher, the countdown to detonation ticking away on the display before him. The Vale ships closed in, their weapons hammering against the Leviathan's failing defences. Just as the last of the shields collapsed and the Vale prepared to deliver the killing blow, Adams slammed his fist down on the reactor overload button. The core erupted in a blinding flash of light, consuming the Leviathan, the Vale fleet and the Nexus in a cataclysmic explosion that lit up the stars. In the aftermath of the battle, the Galactic Council struggled to come to terms with the revelations of their own corruption and the sacrifice of Admiral Adams and his crew. The human military, once viewed with suspicion and fear, was now hailed as the saviors of the galaxy, their actions a shining example of courage and selflessness. But even as the galaxy celebrated the defeat of the Veil, vale, many wondered at the cost. The Leviathan, the most powerful warship ever built, was gone, and with it, one of humanity's greatest heroes. The future was uncertain, but one thing was clear. The galaxy would never be the same again. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.